admired by many, and I'm very pleased that all of you took the moment to come out today and celebrate them. We couldn't have picked a better place to do something like this, because as we celebrate this great day, this cemetery is filled with veterans. It's filled with people who many years ago, many didn't even know where Europe was or had never been to Europe. But there were people in need, and they came and sacrificed for them. People that they'll never know. They'll never know the history of how everything turned out. But to them, it didn't matter. It was a cause of help for others, and they answered that call. And today we honor them, we honor all of you, and we honor all our veterans who serve. I'd like to take just a second, if I could, and talk to these kids over here. Many of your moms and dads serve in the armed forces. Many of you have had the nights where you thought your mom or dad was going to be at a certain event, and they couldn't make it. Many of you have moved in the middle of a school year. Many of you have had to tell friends goodbye, not knowing if you would see them again. But your parents had orders and had to move. For those of you that your mom and dads are veterans, what I want you to know is that you guys are kind of veterans yourselves. You serve a cause. You serve our great nations by making sacrifices, and that's a way of giving. And so I wanted to take just a second and thank you. Thanks for your sacrifices. Thanks for supporting your family members who serve in the armed forces. And thank you for being our little veterans as well. Folks, can we give these kids a hand, please? I'd like to thank AFMOR for taking the time to put this ceremony on. You know, this is, a, this is a venue of where to do it, but this is AFNORTH's ceremony. I greatly appreciate that you want to remember. It's important in everything we do in life that we always remember. And we have to remember those heroes who've served before us. So my thanks to the school. Also my thanks to the Monuments Commission. The fact and the respect that you show these brave heroes, these men and women who are laid to rest here, touches me and touches many, and we're forever grateful to all of you. And then I cannot come to a place like this without thanking the great citizens of the Netherlands. The Dutch citizens who maintain these graves, who do this out of love, out of caring, and out of remembering for the brave people who served here. It's a true honor to be here today with you on Veterans Day. I thank all of you for remembering. I thank this great looking group of cadets out here that uh, are our next generation, our next set of veterans. And I thank again all of you for being here. Thank you very much. We have a special musical presentation by the students. They will be performing Those Who Serve and Our Heroes Will Live On.
the students have written poems which will be added to our permanent collection. Will the students please come forward with the poems and place them on the podium near the chapel. Every year, the President of the United States issues a proclamation reminding us of the valor and sacrifices made by our veterans. This year's presidential proclamation will be read by Austin Groth and Liliana Vasquez. <laughs> 